Hello everyone, this is Absar Ali and today I'm going to start with a new session in the Selenium Framework Part 1 and here we'll be discussing about uh, below topics, the page object model, page factory pattern, base class, property files, data driven using Excel file and we'll be talking about the log j So coming to the page object model, basically what is page object model? Page object model is a design pattern to create object repository for UI elements. And under this model, for each web page in an application, there should be a corresponding page class. This page class will find the web elements on that web page and also contains page methods which perform operations on those web elements. Name of this method should be given as per the task they are performing example if a loader is a loading for the payment gateway to appear page object model method name can be wait for payment screen display so something should be meaningful so that we can recognize what this function is for so you can see a sample architecture uh, how the page object model works suppose i have two page uh, for home page there is a registration page as well so in each page we have corresponding uh, web elements okay we can write web elements in this uh, in this home page we can have all the web element present we can uh, write and driver dot find element whatever web element present we can make a functions okay for example uh, let me just show you an eclipse so you can see in Eclipse, I have a Mercury homepage page, and here I have uh, defined, I find all the web element present in that page, like input box, username, and I have uh, written something like the other find by how equal to how dot id, okay, by name or by xpath or CSS, uh, whatever we can write, we can write over here and using and here we can use uh, the locator ID or name or uh, we can say a class name or maybe xpath etc you can provide over here okay so all the web element can be uh, listed down over here like this and corresponding actions can be written over here like enter input box username something like that something meaningful uh, method you can create using this web element Okay, input box, username, and it's a private. You cannot access this particular web element in other classes. Okay, uh, let me just show you how, sorry, not this one. Okay, suppose you, if you are uh, writing this input username as a private, you cannot access this private method in uh, here. Okay, because it's a private to this particular class. And this is also a class for registration page. Okay, so input username field is present as a private. So what you can do, you can create one function over here in this particular class as a public void and you can write something like that. Input username and you can uh, pass some parameter to it and you can return or you can create one object over here in this particular page action class and you can get this function whatever you have created here you can get this action over here and you can perform this action so let me just show you how exactly it works and if uh, yeah here i have done something like this enter input uh, box username string enter username and in input a username field you can write send keys enter username and system dot username is entered as username so this one we can access from other classes okay so like this we can in in, in this home page action package okay or in this class we can access uh, this particular method okay so this method the, this is private here but you can access outside the class or we can directly access this if you can make it a public as well but for the time being let it be as a private and we can make one getter method for this okay you can uh, 
you can perform some action on these particular things and you can have this uh, thing also uh, this particular line to write or display something right the same thing we have for all other web element present in each classes okay and this is a home page action uh, means uh, modular based so you can like for login functionality you can have one function within that login functionality you can write input box uh, that username password then login okay so this is whole will be one function okay that function can be called in our test script okay if you are calling any uh, login functionality you can call it from the test script okay you can see over here you can call it similarly if you want to have multiple test scripts you can call this same login functionality multiple times you don't have to write again and again and again okay so this is how it works the page object model you are creating on object repository and you can uh, reuse those things in here fine cool then coming to with the eclipse here you can find uh, i have created one dr uh, driver instance okay instantiated chrome driver is launched then i'll be navigating to that particular uh, web site using url this url then i'll be creating one object of that mercury action class okay so this class i'm i'm creating one act uh object of this home page action in here okay and so that i can get access to this login username and password over here fine and here also if i have multiple scripts i can create the object of this home page here as well to access this login username and password over here fine uh, then you can see the same thing i have created here the created the action module class and the its object over here and the same object using same object i am accessing this login okay fine so coming to the page factory Page Factory is an inbuilt uh, page object model concept for Selenium web driver, but it is very optimized. Here as well, we follow the concept of separations of page object repository and test methods. Additionally, the same thing we have done in page object model. In Page Factory also same kind of thing, like uh, separating page object and methods uh, from the main script. Okay, like uh, we, in here, home page we are having like all inputs uh, elements present in this home page uh, here okay for corresponding pages but in page action we are creating one module based in login or registration we are creating on login or uh, registration okay and a similar thing we are creating a object of this home page action over here and we are calling this method uh, in this scripts okay our main scripts Okay, the similar thing when page object uh, page factory as well we are doing the same way the concept is same but uh, the uh, writing uh, the thing we write is something kind of different uh, because selenium has its inbuilt functionality we do not write using driver.find element or by dot uh, something we use address find by annotation we using that we are getting um initializing our web elements okay so how to we we use init elements method to initialize our web element page factory in selenium is an extension to page object model or page object pattern and can be used in various ways in in this case we'll use page factory to initialize web element and that are defined in the web page classes or page objects as i said same thing let's see how the things works in page object model i'm going to page object model so in this case we'll be writing find by how equal to how dot id 
okay an id or a name you're going to give over here then private web element input box username you're going to give over here so similarly we can write like this but we need to pass a driver okay we are uh, instantiating driver over here okay in this script we are creating chrome driver something like that and this driver need to be passed to this and that need to be passed to this so how we can pass the driver web driver into this particular uh, particular class home page class okay we can create one constructor over here which will take a parameter as a web driver and from here in this script we are passing to this particular uh, class and this particular class will pass the web driver to this particular home page object and here we can write page uh, factory dot init element a driver and then uh, this keyword to initialize this web elements over here fine so this is uh, how we use page object you can see we have a constructor over here mercury home page because you can see the same name as of a class name it's a constructor and we are passing a web driver over here to pass our web driver instance from the main script to our page uh, action class and then page object class right and then we can perform any action on that okay fine as i said a uh, page in page factory uh, we'll initialize every web element variable with a reference to a corresponding element on the actual web page based on the configure configured locators this is done through use of other find by annotations okay this one uh, the initialization method we use in page factory as that find by how equal to how dot id using username private web element input username then every time a method is called on this web element a variable the driver will first find it on the current page and then simulate the interaction fine this is how it works fine uh, like as i said in page object model also we use the similar kind of actions in page or uh, test script we use login page dot enter input username as officer something like that you can write anything in here in this particular class fine then we have a input box password something all the element can be written like this way okay and here also you can instead of action you can write uh, this class as well module here as well but the thing is that if you have hundreds of 200 of web element present in that particular class it is like it will not be possible for you to write over here because it's will then you need to go down and down and down okay so it's better you can separate all the methods action into a module so it will be like modularized you can get it uh, from your module action classes okay in this in these classes you can define this login things right there are different ways uh, to creation of object or passing the web driver to uh, page uh, object model or page factory because uh, method one using constructor using constructor also you can uh, pass your web driver into into your uh, web element classes and the second method is creating a web page in action class in creating one action class you can pass a login object with a web driver instance as well and the method three there's a page object in test script within that you can uh, pass that class as well like login page dot class so that like this way we can uh, instantiate our web element or web pages so that we can uh, perform our page factory methods or page object model okay and thank you